Hello, everybody. Um, I'm director of copy at Quiet Room. And at Christmas, I was lucky enough to go to New Zealand. And there I came across an animal called a skink. For anybody who hasn't met a skink, it's a kind of lizard. And there are lots of different types of skink, but the one that I'm particularly interested in is a rainbow skink. Now, rainbow skinks aren't native to New Zealand. In fact, they were introduced from Australia. But they're better at being in New Zealand than the native skinks. In fact, they're forcing out the native skinks. So the Department for Conservation are worried about this, and they want to get rid of them. But they've got a problem, because they're called rainbow skinks. And rainbows are lovely. We all know that. In fact, there's a My Little Pony character called Rainbow. There are pots at the end of them. They're basically the universal symbol of hope, which means that the Department of Conservation have a problem. So what they've done is they've renamed the Rainbow Skink, and they've renamed it the Plague Skink, <laughs> because plagues are bad. We all know that. And by doing that, they have tapped in to all our negative feelings about plagues, and they've put it on those skinks, so that when they come to say we need to get rid of them, they basically reset our minds, and they've reset them so that we all go, yeah, we agree. So what's that got to do with pensions? Well, we are riddled with language that basically hinders rather than helps us. We've talked about some of it already. Um, and at its worst, it actually primes the opposite behavior from the behavior we want. Let's take salary sacrifice. Now, that's a good thing. That's about putting more money into your pension. You'll be better off when you take your money when you stop working. Great. We call it sacrifice. Nothing good happens with sacrifice. And we all know that the ultimate sacrifice is the worst thing that can possibly happen. Here's another one. Additional voluntary um, contributions, something we were writing about in a project quite recently, AVCs. Now, you might think there's nothing wrong with that. It basically describes what they are. It does. They're additional, they're voluntary, and they're contributions. But by talking about the process rather than what they can do for members, we're absolutely missing a trick. And actually, by calling them voluntary, we're kind of saying, well, take it or leave it. And that's the opposite behavior than the one we want. What would happen if we called them pension boosters instead? Wouldn't a lot more people sign up? So let's take a leaf out of New Zealand's book. Let's rename all those things that are actively priming us to do the opposite thing from what we want. And next time we come to name something, let's think about the power of words and let's think about their power to let us fulfill our goals.